This is a beginner tutorial series for modeling a room in Rhino and rendering it in Lumion. In this series, you will learn how to model chairs, a coffee table, vases, and a floor lamp. You will then add materials, tree shadows, and artificial lighting in Lumion to create a rendering like this. If you want a reference for any of the furniture, you can download the 3D models for free with the link in the description. Like and subscribe if you want more tutorials. Let's get into the video. So when you open up Rhino, you're gonna see this screen with top perspective front and right. We're mostly gonna be using perspective. And so to start off, we're gonna make our room. So we're gonna get this box over here, click on that. And if you type zero, it's gonna set it to the origin, which is where the green and red line intersect. Then press enter. And our room's gonna be, let's say it's three meters wide and three meters deep. So I'm in millimeters right now. So that's gonna be 3000, 3000, click enter. 3,000 and let's say it's also going to be 3,000 high. Cute, love that. Okay, so now we have a box but you can see through it so we're going to change our viewport mode to rendering and now you can't see through it. If you double click on perspective it's going to open up a little bit larger. So now we want to delete these walls so we can edit the inside of our room so hold Control shift on your keyboard and click these faces and then hit delete lovely so now this is going to be our wall and this is going to be our floor so the main focus of this room is going to be a large canvas so Let's say oh, our canvas is going to be five mil thick. Oh no, that seems small for a canvas. Let's go ten mil, so one meter. I mean, not one meter, one centimeter thick. And then maybe like maybe it's actually like a meter long. It's gonna be a large canvas. And. 500 cool and we're gonna bring that down here and if you can't see this thing here with like the arrows if when you click on something it looks like that it's because your gumballs turned off so to turn it on you just go down here and click it on cool it's actually a little bit small, I think, so we're just going to make it wider. If you click on these and drag, they scale in that direction. Okay, so that that's going to be our canvas. We really want this room to be just a little bit wider, so let's make it wider by 2 meters. Oh, whoa! That's not what I wanted. Let's just estimate it then. 